A few weeks back, I did an Insta live feed just talking about some of the rigs that I use throughout my angling. Some of the rigs that make my angling consistent, it's one of the things that I tend never to worry about anymore. And if I make any little tweaks, it's like tiny little tweaks on, on rigs that make big differences. And I've always said that, you know, the smallest things make the biggest differences. So I've got quite a few requests from people asking to see how it's tied. And so I thought I'd put this little video together just to show you guys how it is done. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. And if there's any feedback or you need any, you know, any questions, get in touch. So for the extended braided D-rig, we're gonna need some 20 pound chod filament, some 15 pound dark matter, size a four hook and some large shrink tubing. So what you do is you take a length of the mouth trap, maybe six inches, something like that, just give yourself plenty. Pass it through the hook, through the eye, and you want to lay it, pull a fair bit through, and you want to lay it on the back of the shank, like so. Like that. Kick it back the other way and pull it with your finger a little bit so that it just opens, opens the eye a bit so you've got some space there. And then we take a length of dark matter of around about 10 inches. Pass it through the eye. So now you have two bits basically going through the eye. Lay them both on the back of the shank and just cinch that down with your nail a little bit just so that it gives you a bit of space in there. Okay, so you got that to that point. And then it's just a matter of whipping that on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you've got the stiff bristle filament trapped underneath the whipping. Pass the braid back through the eye again. So you should end up with something looking like that. This is the boom section you want to keep. And you want to trim this off with a pair of scissors. Like so. And with a lighter, Carefully blob that down. And just squash it with your thumb so that can't be pulled back through the eye now. So there you go, so that's that. Okay, and then what you do next is cut off the tag end of the braid. Nice and neat and close. With a puller, just make sure that that's nice and tight, pull down. And then next up, we're going to take our shrink tube in and pass it over the shank of the hook like you would normally. Next up, you want to pass your braid through your tube in, pull your tube in up over the shank and cover up that knot nice and tidy. And you should find that it should be more or less in line with the point of the hook, opposite the point of the hook. Okay, and from there, we're gonna create, we're gonna create our D. And the way we do that is we just take a fine baiting needle, one of the fine baiting needles that we do, and we're gonna make a hole the bottom of it but we want the, we want it to be just below the eye of the hook so p 
case it through there. That's fine. Next up, you take a swivel and you take that and put that onto the slide that onto the mouth trap. Take the mouth trap, pass it into the hole you've created and out the other end, like so. So once you've got to that point, it's just a matter of steaming the shrink tubing down to shape and adjusting the D, which I'll do right now. So now I've mounted the bait onto the screw and I've got the D where I want it size wise. All it takes now is to pull the braid out of the way trim the mouth trap about five mil away from the tubing so you've got that and then what you do is take your lighter and just carefully slowly blob that down blob that down and you want to pat it down so that it's nice and flat and now you'll find that the way it's set like that is that the bait when blown out, actually comes past the eye. That D allows it to go past the eye and is completely free of the hook point. So there you go, the extended braided D-rig. For those of you guys that want to know how to tie it, I really hope you find this video useful. And if you do so happen to catch a whacker on it, give us a shout and let me know.